Another important part of tkinter is the stacking order. This one determines which widget is on top of another widget. So in here, I can place different widgets on top of each other. Especially when you use the grid or the place layout method, this can become quite important. Because for both of those layout methods, it's very easy to place widgets on top of each other. So you need to be able to control which widget is on top of the other. For that, the most basic thing you have to understand is that widgets are always placed on top of other widgets when they are created. Really important here, not when they are placed. For example, we have two labels, both are TTK label and nothing else. The arguments here really don't matter. And then we are using the grid method to place them. Once again, I am ignoring the arguments here, but just imagine they are on top of each other. In this case, label two is going to be on top. But this is because we are creating label two after we are creating label one. If we switch this around, then label one would be on top of label two. The grid method itself doesn't have any influence on that. It's kind of confusing to be honest, but well, it is what it is. On top of that, you can also raise widgets to the top of all of the widgets or on top of another widget. For this video, I have something slightly more complex ready. If I execute this, I have two labels, label one and label two. On top of that, I have two buttons in the bottom right. We have raise label one and raise label two. Later on, those are going to control which label is on top. Although right now they don't do anything. Inside of the code, I am importing tkinter. I am creating a window. Then I'm creating four different widgets. I have two bits of text and two buttons, button one and button two. After that, I have a layout section. In here, I am placing the two labels using the place method. The arguments here are basically random. The one important thing is that those two labels are overlapping with each other. That way I can show you which label is on top of the other. Besides that, we have the buttons. And the only important thing here is that both buttons are in the bottom right. That I achieve with relative y being one and relative x being one or 0.8. That way, both buttons are on the bottom right, with button one being a bit further to the left. The anchor here is really important. That way, we're placing the origin point of the widget in the bottom right of the widget. With that covered, we can start talking about the actually important part. And that is that right now, we have label one being below label two. The reason for that is that we are creating label one before label two. I can demonstrate this by creating label two before label one. Now if I run this, we have label one in front of label two. However, the layout method, so place in this case, has no impact on this whatsoever. If I place label two before label one, we get the same outcome. And if I place label two after label one, we still get the same result. In my case, I want to start with label one and then create label two. This means that label two is on top of label one. Now to control the stacking order, you have a couple of different approaches. The easiest one is called lift. For example, after I'm creating the widgets, label one and label two, remember here, label two is on top right now. So we have label two on top. But I could get my label one and then run the lift method on it. This elevates label one on top of all of the other widgets. Alternatively, I could get label two and then run the lower method on it. That way we are lowering label two below all of the other widgets. So let me add both in here so you can see them in the code a bit easier. We have lift and we have lower. Besides that, what we can also do, let me comment out lift and lower for now, inside of the button. Let's say for label one for now, I want to add a command. This command is going to be a lambda function because it will be very simple. I want to get label one. And what I could do is simply run the lift method. If I now run this again, note here, label one right now is below label two. But if I click on raise label one, we can see label one is on top of label two. And what we can also do, if I copy the command here, now for raise label two, I could get label two and lower it. So now if I run this again, and now if I click on raise label two, we are lowering label two. 
The naming here doesn't really make sense, but I'm going to change this anyway in a second. So lift and lower, you can use quite well. Besides that, you could also use TK raise, and that does the same thing as lift. Let me add it for both, and now if I run this again, we can raise label 1 or raise label 2. And that way, we can control which widget is on top of the other. You might be wondering now, what is the difference between lift and TK raise? And quite honestly, I have no idea. They seem to be doing the exact same thing. So you can use whichever one you prefer. It really doesn't make much of a difference. So with that, let's do an exercise. I want you guys to add a third label and a third button, meaning label three here and button number three. The command for button number three should raise the third label all the way to the top. Pause the video now and try to implement this one yourself. This should be a fairly simple thing to implement, because all we have to do is duplicate label 2, change this one to label 3. I also want to change the text to label 3, and for the color, we can go with blue. After that, I want to create button number 3 with button number 3. This one should be race label 3, and for this one, I want to have label 3 and then TK race. With that covered, I have to cover the layout for both the label and the button. For label 3, I once again want to use the place method, and here for the arguments, I do want to have a different position so we can see this a bit easier. The numbers I went with x being 20, y being 80, the width is 180, and the height is simply 100. Finally, I want to place button number 3. For this, I want to copy button 2, change it to button number 3. The only change I'm going to make here its relative x should be 0 0.6. If I run the entire thing now, we're getting an error because I have some weird typo in here. Let me fix that, like so, and that is looking much better. Now let's try this. There we go. Now we have label 3. For this one, if I click on raise label 1, now we have label 1 all the way on the top. The same thing we can do with label 2, and then we have label 3. So all of this is working quite well and you can very easily control which label is on top. This would also work with literally any other widget. I am simply using labels because they are the most easy to work with and I can visualize easily what's going on. Now, there's one more thing that I do want to cover, and that is that both for TK raise and lift, we can add one argument, and that is called above this. By default, TK raise puts a widget all the way on top of all of the other widgets. But if you want to have a widget only on top of another widget, you would use above this. For example, for label 1, when I'm clicking on TK raise, I want to only elevate it on top of label 2. So if label 3 is on top, then label 1 would not be elevated all the way to the top, it would still be below the third label. I hope that makes sense, let me illustrate actually. So now we have label 3 all the way on the top. If I click on raise label 2, we have label 2 all the way on the top. And now if I click on raise label 1, we have label 1 all the way on the top. Although more specifically, label 1 is now only going to be on top of label 2. If I raise label 3 all the way again, and now I raise label 1 again, nothing is going to happen because label 1 already is on top of label 2. I hope the logic makes sense here. If you think about it for a couple of seconds, it should be fairly straightforward. I suppose to illustrate this a bit better, if I raise label 2 all the way to the top, and now I raise label 3 on top of it, now if I click on raise label 1, the green bit is going to be on top of the red bit, but below the blue bit. So raise label 1, there we go. Label 1 is on top of label 2, but below label 3. The above this argument would also work with lift, I can run this again, and we would have the very same outcome. Once again, I don't really know what are two different methods for the same thing, but choose whatever you want, it really is up to you.